Today I'm taking a trip to my local antique shop. I love this place. Guys, there are so many vendors. There are so many things to see. It's something like 16,000 square feet inside this building and every single bit of it is stocked to the top with all sorts of fun items. So let's take a look and see what they have. One of my favorite things about this place is that they have so many vintage and antique pieces. They have local artisans featured. They have so many fun and unique items that I could spend the entire day just wandering around here. These art pieces reminded me of my friend Anna over at At Home with Anna. She loves these type of botanical prints. And then of course for spring I had to include this bunny print. I thought this vintage mirror was gorgeous. Look at the detailing there. And then of course, this brass antique lamp. I love this one too. That scalloped base is so beautiful. I know blue and white is a fan favorite right now. Everybody is loving the blue and white. Look at these lamps, they're so beautiful. I don't love it for in my home, but I do appreciate them when I see them in stores. I'm not actually sure what these are. If anybody has any ideas of what they might be, leave me a comment below cast iron teapot really caught my eye. There was just something about the rustic feel of it. I felt like it had so much character and I could almost see someone in the past using this item. I've been on the lookout for one of these old and worn cutting boards. I thought this one was really pretty. It was $42, so I passed up on it, but I have definitely been keeping my eye out for something just like this. And you guys take a look at this. I have never seen anything like this. I'm sure a lot of you know what this is. This glow in the dark green glassware really was stunning. I, I just loved it. I, it caught my attention and I was just standing there admiring it for so long. So if you know what it's called, leave me a comment below. I actually have this glass heart. I picked it up at a thrift store years ago and I've used it in my Halloween decorating in the past, but it was interesting to see it here and see the tag on what it was called. It's always fun to see how the different vendors set up their booths and as you round the corner it can be something that is completely different from the vendor booth that you just exited. Take a look at this old antique Bissell vacuum cleaner. I thought this was so cool. Um, I love just thinking about the people and the places that items like this have been used by and just love seeing these antique pieces and how things used to be.
These teacups and saucers and green plates were so beautiful. I love that green. You guys, I'm a sucker for pottery jugs. I love anything that looks like this with a soft curve to it with the stoneware look. I really love this dark brown one. I would love to have this and put it in my hutch. It was a little pricey, so I passed up on it, but boy, was it gorgeous. I actually have this exact camera. I got it from my mom. She had received it as a gift from a friend that she had taken care of. As he was aging, he needed someone to drive him back and forth to appointments. And um, this was a gift that he had given her. And I just think it's so cool to see it in the antique store. And if you remember Looney Tunes cartoons, leave me a comment below. Let me know which Looney Tunes character was your favorite. I really enjoyed seeing these little figurines. And you guys, this brass rocking horse, how unbelievably stunning this was. I was thinking it was going to be something like, I don't know, five or six hundred dollars, but it ended up being twelve hundred dollars. Somebody is going to be a very happy recipient of this one day because it was stunning. And then, of course, they have so many unique items. Here's another local artisan. This one has a little bit more of like a Halloween feel, a dark academia look love the mounted butterflies this whole booth was gorgeous So you guys, I had a great time sharing my local antique store with you. I hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing all of the treasures. Antiquing is so much fun because it's almost like a step back in time. But one of the things that I really like about my antique store is that they also have local artisans there. So lots of woodworking and pottery pieces can be found there. And I only picked up one item, but it's this beautiful pottery pitcher. It's um, it's really unique, I think, because it looks almost black on this side or maybe like a super dark brown, but when you turn it around, it has a little bit more of a blue tint to it. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up the color variation there, but I thought this was a great find. It was only $20. $21.99, but I thought it was a great find because depending on the season, I could turn it around and make it look a little bit more blue or a little bit more neutral depending on what I'm going for. And I love having it styled right now 
over in my microwave area. Some of you guys saw this clip in my last video where I shared with you some of my haul items from thrifting, but pairing antique or handmade with thrifted items is a great way to get a collected look. And so I definitely encourage you to, okay, yeah, I like Target, I like all of the big box stores, I like all of the new stuff, that's all really nice, but I definitely encourage you to step outside that world go thrifting, go antiquing, and try to find unique items that no one else has. That's how you're gonna make your home look collected and unique and something that really does fit your personality. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing my local antique shop and seeing the item that I picked up. I will see you in the next one. If you want to find out more about thrifting, go ahead and check out this video right here. It's a really good one.